Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to do a little versus video between the Ryobi tire inflator and the Hart tire inflator. Now the Hart is a 20 volt system, the Ryobi is an 18 volt system, and we are going to see which one could actually do the task uh, faster and easier than the other one can. So both of these have a digital display, which is nice. I'm glad Ryobi upgraded to that. All right, so for the Ryobi, the model number is a P737D. Uh, it goes to max PSI to 150. Digital display, and this is capable of using any of the batteries that's within the OnePlus system. Which, uh, since for the heart, I only have a 1.5 amp hour battery, we're gonna use a 1.5 amp hour battery for this. Heart does make more powerful batteries, which I do not have. And so the heart is a model number HPIF01, 20 volt system, max PSI is 150. Yeah, so both of these are the exact same specs. Uh, so we are gonna see which one of these does the better job. it is not the weather isn't bad outside but it is uh misting a little bit so i do not want to get wet so we're going to bring this test indoors Alrighty, both batteries are charged we're going to take that down to 20 psi perfect it is at, perfectly at 20. It is at 20. Not sure if you guys can see that. Is that 20 PSI? All right, we are gonna do the heart first. Now the battery is full. Let's see if this is capable of filling this back up to uh, 35 PSI. All right, so ready, go. Oh, by the way, let's see, it is, it, this says this is at 18 PSI. All right, so 18 PSI is where the Ryobi needs to go. Thirty-five. It did it. It did it this time. Uh, the last time we did the unboxing of this, it did not. It did not succeed on putting the air back in. But that I might have put the air at fifteen psi last time. Twenty psi. And remember, this is an SUV. Uh, Infinity has uh, extremely uh, fat tires on their SUVs, and so yeah. So this tire is. Uh, almost like a truck there we go it says it's at 40. which is at 20. twenty psi let's see what uh, Ryobi reads this at So the Ryobi measured the exact same PSI as the heart did when it comes to uh, the PSI that's uh, the tire pressure gauge reads and what this reads. So let's see, we have a 1.5 amp hour battery on here. Let's see what this does.
36. Let's see what the tire pressure gauge says. Forty-five psi. Wow. So, so for this is at forty-five. Forty-five psi. All right. So both of these are majorly reading inaccurate psi on the what the actual tire is on the inside. So we had because uh, thirty. I like these at thirty-six. Too much. So the battery on the Ryobi is at half, So and I, there is no gauge on the heart, and so I do not know what the heart reads at, but so as power, I think the heart is a little bit louder. Let's see if we could, it's been a while, so this is going to be a fair temperature reading. Yeah, so it's at... The heart reads at 50, the heart and the Ryobi reads at 63, but the heart's been sitting for a little while, so it had time to cool. Now, they both have adapters to fill up other devices. Uh, the Ryobi is on the base, the heart is on top. They, Like I said, they both have digital displays. Now, heart is not a bad product. Uh, they they're, they just came out, and it's just... Uh, it, it was able to fill up, fill up the tire on a single charge from 20 psi to uh, 40, and uh, it's and the Infinity tires are extremely fat. They're bigger than the average tires. So, like filling up a car tire would be, or a regular SUV tire would be, no issue whatsoever. So, uh, and like I said, now when it comes to pricing, now you can get this online for $35 for Bear Tool. Or you can get the the kit for eighty eight dollars for, for the flashlight, charger, battery, and tire inflator, and the Ryobi is twenty four dollars uh, tool only. And I'm pretty sure if this came in a kit, it would be more like seventy to eighty dollars, maybe maybe sixty uh, with just a battery, charger, and inflator. So. So yeah, the the pricing is is uh, almost the same. The heart cost uh, ten dollars more. Bear tool only, and right now it's all like or at, at least around me, it's online only. I only have a couple of options uh, for me to get at for heart, and I, I really don't have that much of a that that much at my at my Walmart. So. This has been the test. Uh, both of these, I do not know what the results are. Both of these did a fantastic job, I think. Are there better uh, inflators out there? Yes. But Now, uh, I love the pistol grip uh, tire inflators because it's small. It's easily, uh, you can put this in storage. This even fits in the glove box. And so, uh, especially when I take the boat out and I need it for the, the trailer, I just, I'll have a tire inflator right then and there, you know, because that would ruin my day if my trailer for my boat, I get a flat, and then I have to wait for someone to come by and fill it up. Instead, I have one in the car, and if I need to fill up the tire, good to go. And for the cars as well, my wife has, has one in her car. No, uh, so yes. But this, it, it, it's not bad. It's not bad. Comfort-wise, I, I, after using it for a little bit, I'd honestly say the heart feels a little bit more comfortable than the the Ryobi. Neither of them have a lock, which they should. Ryobi needs to have a lock on there so you don't have to actually hold it. And same thing with heart. Heart needs to put a lock on there. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do this uh, comparison video. And this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.